Good morning, everybody. This is Jesse Herman from Piedmont, South Dakota. I'm here in uh, beautiful Sioux Park. Uh, today is day number one on my Body by Vi Challenge number 11. Just finished up Challenge 10 uh, two days ago, and I uh, took yesterday as a rest, and now today back after it. Just ran four miles with the Life Runners this morning. It was pretty fun. Went from Sioux Park here to Canyon Lake and back, and uh, Nikki Blakeman and Jeff. So, always a good time Saturday mornings. Every other Saturday morning we run out here and uh, just uh, be seen in our shirts and, and get some exercise and fellowship with one another. It's just, it's awesome. So, um, this finished up challenge number 10 and uh, crossed the great state of Illinois and came into Illinois on the 8th, I think it was uh, August 8th and uh, just finished it up September 3rd. So 108 miles and um, finished up the 90-90 challenge on the state of Illinois and uh, coming into Indiana. So four miles into Indiana now. There's uh, 157 miles of Interstate 90. They call it the ITR, Indiana Toll Road. So hopefully I can sneak through the uh, toll, toll point check-in spots where you got to pay. Otherwise this uh, this next 90 days could cost me a, a fair bit of money as I run through, so um, hopefully I'll go unnoticed and can sneak around all that and get by on the cheap. But um, so anyway, it's not too bad. It's nothing like South Dakota. That was my first first state I ran through back in uh, 2013 in June, and uh, started that on June 1, and. Uh, yeah, it was 412 miles in 90 days. That took quite a bit of a commitment. But uh, this this one, 157 miles in 90 days, all I got to do is just kind of stay with it. And um, I'll get there. Got uh, a couple events coming up in this challenge. Got uh, Crazy Horse Marathon on October 5th. Keep our fingers crossed. And Lord will bless us with some decent weather to run in. Uh, last year it was 30 inches of snow, and uh, as you can imagine they canceled the event and I never got to run it. So um, this will be my third marathon coming up for the year, and I just just got done with the uh, Lean Horse Ultra. We ran it as a relay, so it wasn't technically a marathon per se, but. Uh, I got 21.6 miles in on it out of my uh, fifth of the, the legs that we were going to run. And um, it was a ton of fun. Ran it with the Life Runners. It's just great. Great event. Definitely do it next year if they ask me. So, um, anyway, got Crazy Horse registered for the full, so 26 2. And uh, never run that event. It's on the Mickelson, but I haven't run that event yet so I don't know what the topograph looks like or anything. Um, guaranteed to be gorgeous with all the rain we've had. The hills are green and just beautiful so either way it'll be nice as long as it isn't snowing too much and uh, and you know I'll probably uh, probably run the sock hop 5k if it'll uh, if it'll fall into my schedule for me Ran that last year, and I met Pat Castle at that event, and he said, hey, you know what? Dragging your feet, get get signed up as a life runner. We could use you. So I did. So, you know, hey, this is an invitation to anybody you guys out there is watching. Maybe you're a runner. Maybe you're a walker. Maybe you want to be a life runner. Uh, it's an excellent way to combine your fitness and your witness, and I've just been so blessed to be a part of it. 
and it's just really incorporated into my life really well and I just absolutely enjoyed the friendships that I've made in this last year that uh, I've been running with them so it's definitely a, a cause that's been near and dear to my heart for a long time and uh, it kind of never I've always been with them just not part of them so anyway uh, let's see usually run the uh, turkey trot usually with maybe my brother or my sister or somebody turkey trots always fun that's in November that'll also be coming up uh, I don't know what day this challenge is going to end on but today is uh, 9, 9 6 so September 6 2014 and uh, embarking in on challenge number 11 so nine challenges active challenges my first two I just sat on the couch drank shakes and I got healthier and felt better and then I implemented some running on uh, let's see I think it was August nope September 1st or 2nd or 3rd September 3rd 2000 12 and uh, ran my first mile for time and uh, seven minutes eight seconds then next year ran it and I think I got somewhere around eh, six minutes and ten seconds without doing a whole lot of training and um, this year I just ran my four miles and finished it in 29 minutes and 26 seconds and uh, hey cool we got the military boys out here in their packs. I'll give you a sneak peek here. Oh, I made it! Hey, how far are you guys going? Nine miles. Nine miles. One one. All right, brothers. Peace. That's awesome. So, anyway, this challenge will end sometime in December, I reckon, and. Uh, We'll be at the end of Indiana and into the next state, Ohio. I haven't checked and taken a sneak peek to see how far that goes, but um, 157 miles, if I keep with it, no problem. That's my challenge goal for challenge 11. And just keeping up with the yard and work and everything else that life throws at you. Um, I'd encourage you that if you get winded walking up the stairs like I did before I started these active challenges, and, uh, you know, I was a fit guy, but I was just not in the shape I needed to be. And, uh, boy, get out, get active, do some walking, do some running. Just a little bit, half an hour here and there maybe. What a difference it's going to make in your life, I tell you. And uh, the Body by Vi Challenge keeps me up on my nutrition. They got their handy timeline. You can keep all your stuff tracked and posted and uh, man that's what got me into all this and I just haven't regretted it I definitely have been probably 900 plus days straight drinking body by vi shakes every single morning I haven't missed a single morning since I started March 20th 2012 I haven't missed any and I wouldn't it's because it's made that much difference in my life you know message me see let's see what let's see what it could do for you you just never know so